Just a quick update. Um, this is a Zion Crane 2. Very nice uh, gimbal. Very steady. Um, I liked it. I still like it. Except one thing. This focus puller wheel was spinning to infinity. There was no stop on it. So, therefore, you get confused where you are in the focus range. So I've decided to make a slight modification. So I drilled a tiny hole at 12 o'clock here. Hey. And then I've drilled another hole here and used these micro tiny s screws that I had lying around to just make a stopper. And now it stops. So it's gonna make it way easier and way more fun to focus on it if it stops. You can set the AB point on any lens, on, you know, you can set the AB point uh, with this gimbal. So you can just go A, B, boom, that's it. And now you know there's a stop here. Fucking, I don't understand why they didn't do this from the factory, I really don't get it. But for all you guys getting frustrated about this, that's what I did. It's probably a better method, but this is mine. I also have the focus remote, and I'll probably end up doing the same thing on this one because this spins continuously, and that's annoying. So annoying. So, continuing my series of modifications to this gimbal to make it look and feel natural. So this is a success and this metal clicking is so satisfying. It's like vintage lenses. So that works. And now I've got this remote, which is a great remote, a really nice product, really sturdy build and stuff. The problem I have with it, same thing. This thing spins to infinity. So I took the liberty of taking it apart. So it's got six screws on the bottom. Take those out. And then this comes off. Yay. So this comes off. And the focus mechanism is actually a really nice one. This has got a um, neodymium magnet in that spinning thing there. And this little chip is a receiver. And it gets like the position of the magnetic pole and it translates that into focus position for this sensor. This is a pretty smart mechanism. Very nice, very nice. Not sure why they didn't do a mechanical stop. Maybe they got too excited about the, this mechanism working. So what I'll have to do is remove this wheel somehow and do a similar thing what I did here. In the future, I'll I'll probably hide this bolt. I'll probably countersink it in the thingy, but it's good enough now. So what I'll do here is the same thing. Have a bolt sticking out and then have a bolt like that through this chassis. So it goes like stop, 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 stop. Uh, I did some tests with the wheel in the ver various positions. Either way, when you connect this remote, if the lens is, say, halfway focused, if you go all the way to one side or all the way to another side, it kind of resets the position of the lens. The lens is focused because this is not hard stop. It's like sliding. So it goes, it focuses, it goes to the end, and then the ring still slides. I like these lenses. They're really nice. <clears throat> this way, it would be a problem with a hard stop lens. But not really, because you could just go to your focus beginning position, tilt this a little bit, have it there, move your focus, and then put it back. So it's not the end of the world. I would rather do that than not have a hard stop. This lacking of hard stop thing it put me off of using this gimbal properly. Uh, the backstory is before I had... I'll find the clip and I'll put it in. Before I had this 
self-made kind of gimbal and I've built a focus puller using an Arduino and a potentiometer and it was nice because I could feel it because there was a physical stop so I knew where I was with the focus I never got lost I never had to look at the screen to get that focus hunting effect um, so here's me attempting to do this to this wheel if I do that this gimbal is gonna be way better like way better see that's the board that's it it's fantastic uh, previous kind of mechanisms like this were using like a I don't know what it's called it's a potentiometer but it's got like a, fine contacts in there so it was like uh giving it some impulses or cdjs for jog wheels they use this transparent wheel with like tiny markings on it and that transparent wheel goes into a device like a u-shaped device that has a photodiode on one side and an led infrared on the other side so whenever the photodiode gets a blank i.e the line going through that thing it registers a step but this one with the magnetic field this is not this is wicked man like there's no steps in this it's all like analog it's pretty nice well done zion people but the 10 points you get for the fineness of the focus pulling you lose for the lack of no mechanical stop it's pretty weird it's pretty weird i can't believe they didn't think about it for me it's vital to know where the lens stops because yeah it's i don't know for me and other people that i know it's like vital to have a physical stop not sure who designed this why they didn't think about it it's just pretty weird click click so apparently this i thought because it has these grooves it can be like um, you know unscrewed but i tried with a big screwdriver and it doesn't really but so i don't want to break it so what i'll end up doing is just drill a hole in this rubber and then in the metal and from this one i know that the thread actually goes in the rubber and it holds it there so i'll just do that for now and then drill a hole a tiny hole here put the screw in that should be it see it got a little fucked up there but uh, i don't want to force it too much so i'm just gonna leave it so there's the hole done with the screw in. What I'll use, I'll do is use these tiny nuts. So one, one of them will be here. The other one will be on the other side. And that's going to hold this screw like straight, fasten. And then drill the hole in the disc. And that should be it. That's how it is. It's in there. It's not straight, but it doesn't really matter, honestly. Boom, now for the other side. There we are. Click. Click. Yeah, man. So here's the final result. No, 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 don't put it in the truck. Click. 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 Beautiful. Click, click.